how to fix the Caterpillar Skid Steer 236 heater fan. Okay guys, the part number for this is 146-6372. This is what the fan looks like. It's like a hamster wheel. And the thing is, there's multiple different fans for this machine. This is like a 1999, so it might look a lot different. So you probably have to get your VIN number. Let's start working on it. One of the first things you gotta do, there's two bolts that hold this whole cab up. And that's where you have to get access to the heater fan. You gotta do these two bolts, you gotta push the cab up. I did that already. Open the cab. There's two, actually there's four, 10 millimeter bolts holding this whole unit on. So I'm gonna get the wrenches for that and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, the next step I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna loosen up these clamps, pull the hoses off, then I'll start removing the bolts that hold the whole unit on. I'm sure there's going to be some coolant coming out of these. This will go really good. Slide them down. And they should come off. Not persuading. There's one. Let's see here. Higher. Okay. You are going to lose a little fluid. Okay. Done. Now I've got to start removing. There's four bolts in here. 10 millimeters. Here don't line up turkey, so it might be a little struggle on this one here. And actually, the heater fan. It's actually in this box. Yeah, this heater fan was not working right, so time to replace it. Before the winter hits. Yeah. Put the cab back a little bit. I can show you guys the wire behind. Okay. Let me show you guys the wiring harness that needs to be clipped. This wiring harness right here, you have to unclip it, then a whole unit should come right out. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
we go. Sorry. Peter fan assembly. Take it to the bench. And there, looks like there's some speed clips. Some regular screws. There's some clips right here. You can pull these off. Cool, it came off. Well, uh, I'm working that. Okay, guys, now we gotta remove the knob for the heater fan. Well, it's for the temperature, so remove the knob, put it to the side. Now we gotta unscrew some, these are like Torx heads. Unscrew this part. Just the cover. And it looks like there's four of them on here. There's more clips underneath this cover. So that's why we gotta remove these. little clips here kind of hold us all together so it should just pull right off. Just like that. And there's more wiring here inside. And there's our fan. All you have to do is, when you pull this all apart, you're gonna make sure you put the gray here to the positive, and the black doesn't say nothing, but as long as the gray is to the positive. So pull that out. Pull this out, and there we go. Put it aside. Now, for a fan, just probably just twist right out. It should come out. Just like that. Easy peasy. Now, I'm gonna make sure we stick in the right way. And a new one just kind of drops in. There's a locking thing for the fan. So you drop it in. There's little notches. So when you drop it in, it should lock against that piece there. Just like I did before, just reconnect everything else like how it was. The back there. The gray to the positive. Okay. Then I got a rehook. This wire here, back onto this part. Okay. Is it? Is that this wire? Here. This, we didn't really have to disconnect this one, but this makes it easier to work on. Put your four torque screws back in. The same way you pull them out. And we'll start restoring. Now let's start reassembling these four bolt screws that we removed earlier. Plug them all up. Just on the back side. And then we'll reinstall. Roll switch. Jesus, push on. This is pretty simple. Now we'll go up to the machine, reconnect this wire, and uh, that one's what holding on to the 
We have to start assembling these bolts which is something can fall on a part so I'm going to get these tightened up. Do that. We're going to uh, put the hoses on. It's always nice to have a heater fan, especially if the skid steer has heat. Now, the only thing we gotta do now is, I guess we can see if it works. And we'll open there. Okay, guys, I just wanna give it a test run here. Turn the key on, hit the, hit the fan motor. Perfect, it works. Okay. Next step, we gotta do is lower the cab and then fold it back in. Guys, if your cab doesn't go down, this little red thing has gotta go in a hole. It's kind of a safety thing they have. You pull it down, it should, should go right down in that hole. The cab should tilt down and go down. Make sure the bolts are down, shims and spacers are all in the right spot. And this size here is probably a 1560. So I just take an impact. You can't get a wrench of some of this stuff, so what I do is I take a socket, the ratchet, put it on a top half, bolt here, and I put the rat or the gun in the bottom and tighten up. And, and that's pretty much that's all you gotta do. And pretty much that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later and thumbs up.